Here comes question five for 500 points. This is a sum as well. It's one times two times three, plus two times three times four, plus three times four times five, on and on and on like that, up, till, up to n times n plus one times n plus two. That sum, is that sum equal to, well, there you see the choices. Probably if I read them, it'll distract from the figuring you're already doing. If you have any questions about what any of those say, though, uh, let me know, and uh, I'll look, see what the correct answer is for 500 points. Three people got it right. It was n times n plus one times n plus two times n plus three over four. So you can see if I had read all of them, how, how bad they would have gotten. Uh, and so who, who got that one right? All right? Alan and Eric and Steven. So Eric, how'd you get that? I'm glad, I'm glad you could see all those things up there, Eric, and, and even though you're closer, how'd you get it? So we can notice that the uh, m term is a form, I just shift everything before I want. This is the form of m minus one times m times m plus one. So using difference of squares that's, or multiplying it out, you get m cubed minus m. So summing that from one to n plus one, using the sum of cubes formula and the sum of n formula, gives um, n times m plus one times m plus two over two squared, minus m plus one times m plus two over two, and then grouping uh, gives you a. Right. So, so you translate it, that's a good idea because you know this multiplying out that last term and then doing the sum uh, formulas, uh, that, that could be kind of tedious. So that, that was a very good idea. Uh, and then, and then after arriving at the right answer is, is even better. Uh, and so actually probably thinking through is better than you might have to just hit the wrong thing on your remote. That would be bad, but it's better to have thought it through correctly. Now, so Eric, uh, nice explanation for one thing, thank you. And uh, I, I was talking to Alex about his plans for the money with the limo. You, you also had some plan for the money if you won. What, what, were, what were your ideas? I was thinking of donating a portion of my winnings to the Twin Towers Orphan Fund because I can't imagine what it would be like to um, have to go through the events of 9-11 and lose somebody. So you, you that's a very good way to actually do that. Right? Uh, and so some, some for college you were thinking and then some for that orphan fund. That's a very nice idea. Uh, and, and so the, the contestants fill out the information form and then one of the things we ask them is what your plans for the money. So that's how I happen to know. I didn't uh, make that a prerequisite to step up on stage this morning. And then, and then all, Eric, you also put down one of the interesting things you've done, some, something I've actually done too, uh, is get this question right. That's one thing. But another thing is, uh, you hiked down the Grand Canyon with your father, as a matter of fact, uh, back up and down in one day. Yep. And you live to tell about it. That's good, because park rangers don't like that, I know. Uh, and so, and, and what's the total distance on that? Um, I don't remember exactly. It was a while ago. Okay. It was around probably 20 miles. Just, I don't remember exactly, though. Yeah, it's, it's uh, like maybe six down and nine up and something like that. Uh, and, uh, and so, so it is tough. And then, and then you know, when usually when you climb mountains, the first part is hard. So if you get tired, you can turn back down, and it's not so hard. It's the exact opposite with canyons. And so sometimes you meet a lot of uh, People aren't moving too fast on the way up. Uh, and so you made it, that congratulations, that's good. And what time of year did you do that? Oh, well, we did that um, right around New Year's. The New Year's, all right, so like in the summer, that's really hard to do, but New Year's, that's maybe a good time. So what was the temperature, that you remember the, I know it was a while ago, uh, but what was the, do you remember the temperature on top when you started? Well, at the top, it was a little chilly, but as we moved down, it got really warm at the bottom. Yeah, and so that, that is an advantage, and so you're peeling off layers and, and maybe leaving them for the, uh, for the sheep. Uh, all right, uh, so, then, so that's good. Uh, so that's a great experience and a great idea for the money too, Eric. Uh, and so now we'll see what the score is after question five. Uh, Steven's still in first place, getting them all right with 1,500. Eric and Alan at 1,200. Uh, pa Pablo with 800, and Alex with 700. 